my background started up on a dairy farm up until I was 20 years of age. That was a situation where Dad would milk the cows, he'd filter and cool the milk and deliver it by knocking on people's doorsteps in the morning and the afternoon. And that was back in the gallons and the quarts and the pint stage. I studied food technology at Gatton College. I then went and worked in a few dairy industries. I now work mostly with home cheese makers. Today we're going to make a brie. I've got four litres of pasteurised non homogenised milk. Out of that four litres, I'm going to get three very nice brie. I've always worked with small artisan manufacturers, but just recently uh, I've started working a lot now with home cheese makers. So it's applying the same sort of techniques that they use in a commercial situation to now apply those in a home cheese maker situation. The history of cheese making goes back hundreds and hundreds of years ago. In the last hundred years, with industrialisation, the, the handmade techniques that were always used uh, have now started to disappear. So when we run a cheese making course, we go back to the way they made cheese hundreds of years ago. No automation, everything is made completely by hand. Now we've got our milk warmed up to 32 degrees Celsius. We're going to add two very important ingredients and those same ingredients are added to all different styles of cheese. So what scientists have done is look at a cheddar cheese and raw milk cheddar cheese and said I want this starter, this starter, this starter. They then grow them up in isolation with these little tiny powders, tens and hundreds of millions of bacteria inside each one of those. And that's for cheddar, you'd have another one for a camembert, another one for a mozzarella. The rennet is a coagulant, when we add the rennet we're going to stop stirring, we're going to leave the milk to set for about 40 minutes to form a curd. Most of the courses that I run are two day intensive cheese making courses. The, the first day they're just coming to grips with the basic technology of making cheese. It's not until the second day that they're ready to take their cheese making to another level. I think people are very interested in making their own cheese because they want to get a link to how their food's being produced. And people want that connection that the milk from the local farm has been processed on the local farm. And that's a big difference to going to a supermarket and buying a ready-made cheese straight off the shelf. Cheese is made up of fat plus protein plus water. So if we've got a hard cheese, such as a parmesan or a cheddar, we'd take a large amount of water out of that cheese. That's a Persian fatty, yeah, yeah. Expensive to buy, it costs you 50 cents to make that much cheese. That's the work you put into making it. The flavour that you get from a handmade, cloth-bound, larded artisan cheese is absolutely beautiful. Compared to so many supermarket cheeses, uh, it's the best flavour that you can get out of a cheese. And they're gonna flip them upside down. So you can see all that whey starting to drain out. We've left our cheese on the bench overnight and what we have are two very nice but very soft brie. You cut that cheese, you look at it, you smell it, you put it into your mouth and then you finally get that great taste. The fact that you've made it and now you've eaten it, that's the best part of, of home cheese making.